What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Take. So today I'm gonna do another mechanical keyboard review. But first off, I just wanna thank the awesome people at Centec for lending me the keyboard to do the review. You guys are awesome. Centec is one of the major tech suppliers in South Africa. They supplied a wider range of brands like Crucial, Antec, Speedlink, Western Digital, and they also are the exclusive suppliers of Red Dragon, a brand we really like here on We Do Take. The keyboard I'm reviewing is the Red Dragon Camara, and the first thing you probably notice is that it doesn't have a numpad. So this is a 10 keyless or tournament edition keyboard. The Camara resembles the Vara in a lot of ways. It has the same build construction with aluminium and ABS plastic materials. This makes the Camara super durable for all the ragers out there. And like the Camara, the Camara is also splash proof, but I didn't want to test that, I'll just take their word for it. But quickly taking a tour of the Camara and starting at the top where you get the standard F keys but with some secondary functions. You can activate these keys by pressing the Fn key with any of the 12 F keys. So F1 is to open your media player, F2 is for volume down, F3 is for volume up, F4 is for mute, F5 is for stop, F6 is for previous, F7 is for play or pause, F8 is for next, F9 is to open your email program, F10 is home but it opens your web browser, F11 is to lock the entire keyboard so you won't be able to press any keys, and then F12 is to open your calculator. The Camaro also lets you turn the WASD and arrow keys around. You can do this by pressing the FN key with the W key. To get it back the way it was, all you have to do is press it again. You are also able to disable the Windows key by pressing the FN key with the Windows key, so you don't accidentally minimize your game and lose your killstreak. But then getting to the backlight of the Camaro, this model only has the red backlight, but you do get one without a backlight or one with full RGB. You are able to adjust the backlight between 9 different brightness levels by pressing the FN key with the minus or equals key. You are also able to turn off the backlight with the FN key and the scroll lock key. But if you want more of an effect, the Camaro does have a breathing mode. You can activate this by pressing the FN key with the home key. Then you are able to adjust the breathing speed by pressing the FN key with either the minus or equals key again. And then to get it back to the static color, just press the FN key and the home key again. Underneath the Camaro you get a pair of anti-slip rubber pads in the corners at the bottom. At the top you get two flip out keyboard feet with both of them having anti-slip pads as well. They do a decent job of preventing the keyboard from sliding around while gaming. And then the cable is non-braided but it is 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet long with a gold plated USB connector. Now we get into the important part of the review, the switches and how they feel. The Camaro uses custom Red Dragon mechanical switches that are equivalent to Cherry Mix green switches. They have the same design as the Cherry Mix switches as well, so if you want to get custom keycaps you can, all you have to do is get keycaps that fits any Cherry Mix switch. But the included keycaps are double shot injection molded keycaps, so you are getting quality keycaps that won't scratch off after time. By using the included keycap puller, you are able to take off the keycaps and see the custom switches. The custom switches has a loud audible click with a tactile bump. This makes it nice to type on, but it can be disturbing when you are working in an office with a lot of people. Now getting to the main feature of the Camaro, the missing numpad. By taking away the numpad, your arms are able to get closer together, which makes it more ergonomic and comfortable. This keyboard is not meant for people who work with a lot of numbers like accountants, it's primarily for gamers. And he does that job very well. Gaming on the Camaro feels a bit strange, but a good strange. My entire life I've used full size keyboards, and now trying this, it feels so compact and comfortable. When I switch from the keyboard to my mouse, the distance to travel is so short and quick. I didn't really think it would be that much different, but it is. But for anybody whose primary function of a keyboard is to game or to type, go and try a tenless keyboard, it's really worth it. Now looking at the good and the bad aspects about the Camara, but keep in mind the price. The good aspects about the Camara is its small size. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so it fits on your desk very easily, and you can actually fit it into your backpack without any trouble. 
and then also it doesn't cost a lot again then the bad aspects about the kimura and this is mostly personal i'm not a big fan of the switches i personally like brown switches more than green ones so that's pretty much it i couldn't really find anything bad about the keyboard Okay, so that was my review of the Kamara Mechanical Keyboard. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also, Syntec, again, thank you so much for lending me the keyboard. You guys, I don't know, you guys are really awesome lending me all the stuff to do the reviews. I really, really, really appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you guys, all the subscribers that's, that made this possible for me. So thank you so much. Um and do, 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 yeah if you have any suggestions for different videos or products or anything please let me know in the comments and yeah just anything you want to me to do or say or whatever i don't know just put it in the comments below i'll try to do it so yeah but thanks for watching guys and i'll check you guys next time cheers guys